Hey, welcome back. And the new WBA interim super bantamweight world champion, Brandon the Heartbreaker Figueroa. We're so happy to have him here today, as well as his father, Omar Figueroa. Thanks for stopping by, guys. No, and thank you. Thank let's you. start with you, Brandon. Saturday, you go to California. You're on national television. You fight Jon Fres Parejo in a bout for that belt right there, and you yeah. come away with the win. At 22 years old, you're a world champion. What does that feel like? You know, it feels amazing. You know, it's something that I've been working on since, since I was a little kid, and, you know, all those hours in the gym, missing the holidays, birthday parties, you know, missing time with my friends. Um, you know, it, it all paid off. So, you know, I want to thank my dad for pushing me, you know, my team, my family, and all the supporters from the Valley, man. It's amazing. On Facebook, they, they're nonstop, and, and they're relentless like me in the ring, and, and it's amazing the love and support they show me. Yeah, let's show some video from this fight. And this was a complete slugfest, Brandon. Yes, you went in there. Both you guys were throwing punches left and right. As a matter of fact, you set a new CompuBox record for most punches thrown in a round at 142 punches. You end up throwing over 800 punches. And after the eighth round, something crazy happens. Your opponent says, no mas. His corner throws in the towel. Were you surprised that Jon Frizz gave up like that? Um, you know, I, I knew I knew I was getting to him. You know, those body shots, you know, all those punches, you know, they were accumulating, and I was hurting him. So, you know, I think it was a matter of time before he fell or his corner stopped it. When you went in there from the get-go, did you feel from taking the punches you did early that you had the chance to win that fight? Oh, yes, sir, of course. You know, I, I, I believe I'm so more than, more, more than anyone believes in me, and... I knew I knew I had to win in, in, in my back pocket, so it was just a matter of time before you know I just implemented my game plan and, and I dominated him. A huge night for you as well as your dad, Omar Figueroa. And dad, you're not just his father, you're also his trainer. You were in the corner Saturday night. What's it like for you watching your son throwing those punches back and forth with Parejo Saturday? Man, it's amazing. Um, now, a second, my second son, you know, becoming a world champion, it's something that I I dream of uh, being a, a champion myself, but I'm leaving this through my kids. And, and now my younger son, Brandon, which I didn't, at first I didn't believe in him. He was so skinny, but you know what? He, <laughs> he proved me wrong. And look at which, where he stands now, now at 22 years old, uh, becoming a, a world champion. Yeah, and you talked about it, Omar. You have not one, but two world champions under the same household. How proud are you of what these kids have accomplished going out there? And to this point, they have yet to lose a fight. You guys are undefeated, undefeated. between two two brothers. Yes, it, 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 you know, I think I'm the proudest father out there because I, I was after them since day one. I saw them grow up. I, I, I changed pampers on them. And then, <laughs> and then as you feed them and taking a shower with them and then seeing them become world champions. I mean, number one in the world and, and both of them are my son. They have my blood and, and man, I'm, I'm, I'm super proud, super proud. All right, Brandon, you're now 19 and 0 with 14 knockouts. You're already a world champion. So, so what's next for you this year? You know, just to take my time off right now, you know, enjoy my, my victory. And, you know, uh, next, uh, I think the 26th, uh, next weekend, uh, they're going to do a unification bout between Daniel Roman and TJ Duhay, uh, the WBA and the WBO. So uh, hopefully whoever wins from there, um, I'm going to fight the winner so I can get, you know, two belts in one. So, you know, for sure I'm going to work hard for that fight and I can't wait for it. And you guys were telling me off camera that fight could possibly happen right here in the Valley. How awesome would that be, Omar? It would be great because all his fans are, are wanting to go see Brandon here at home and, and it would just be amazing. Uh, the, uh, I know uh, Westlaco East and Westlaco High uh, would go and support him. Uh, the town of, you know, Westlaco, I mean, the, the talk of the town was Brandon's, you know, uh, winning the belt. And imagine it's going to be packed. It's going to be great. This is awesome. Omar Figueroa, we've got Brandon Figueroa, the new WBA interim super bantamweight world champion. Thank you again for stopping by. We'll be right back after this.